Stormy Cloud 21 here. I've got this review coming up today. I can't say this name very well. Net TM and Alu. I don't know. But this is one of the reviews, which will actually be the review right now. And then I've got this coming up. And I've also got this coming up plus much, much more. So let's dive into it and check out this new item from Avatar the way of water. This is Avatar World of Pandora with black light glow. And this is the way of water. Um, my first figure review other than the giant uh, CT Ops crab suit submarine thing that I reviewed so far. And then I've got many more reviews on the way. <laughs> McFarland toys, I love that. I saw that in the, uh, the preview. That'd be so cool if they made one of those. Um, and then here is the back of that packaging, McFarland Toys. Look, you have black light capability. Uh, so without taking a terrible amount of time, I want to dive into this. Dive. And uh, take a look at this amazing item. There's the black light. So this is so cool. So let's open it up and take a look. First of all... I'm gonna have to get a picture of this. Look, a surprise. Cool. So here it is. This is so amazing. And uh, of course it comes with a people figure. There's your people figure. The Way of Water, a movie that has not released yet till December the 16th. This accessory, there's a stand. I'm just gonna plug into this base with the black light and then another anemone looking accessory plastic and then of course the star of the whole entire show this amazing looking creature right here oh i cannot wait to dive in to this video so let's open it up and take a look first of all if you have a question where stuff goes you can look at the back of the packaging and you can see immediately this goes down here and these go there like that. Actually, that's a light. And there's your figure riding the creature. When you get it set up, this is what it looks like. This is plastic. This is plastic as well. And then you've got this stand right here, which is also plastic and this plastic piece right there. Here is the bottom. You can have a try me an off mode or an on mode. Have an on mode, you can have it on all the time to really show you that black light when the light is turned off. Cool stuff. This it came with try me mode. So you can push this and it will go back off or you can turn it off to save your batteries. This is your figure. I'm still not sure which figure is Netiyam and which is Alu. I'm thinking Alu is the swimming thing and Netiyam might be the Pandorian figure rider. Has head articulation. It has arm articulation and it has leg articulation. Of course the the legs are fixed in that position and the tail is plastic, but can barely move around. So now we're going to look at the main figure. This my friends is the main and only reason besides the black light stand that I bought this for this amazing creature. Now this is rarely reminiscent of a plesiosaur in so many ways. You can see that there is gill looking things there. There is no real head articulation. It's just in a fixed position, but these are rubbery and this neck is a little rubbery and the head is rubbery, um, which is a very nice choice. All this is rubbery, not plastic, but rubber. I love the and this as well. It has a whole rubber feel to it, even though it's a harder rubber in some places and it has the little holes poked in. 
I really, really like this because I was afraid that they were going to do some non-symmetrical pose like they did with the Thanator, but they did this, they knocked it out of the ballpark. And this is definitely a hit for me. I love it to the T. The things that they are doing with these figures are absolutely perfect and amazing. So you've got these two flippers here. You've got these bigger flippers back here. And you've got this tail. Very, 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 very much like a plesiosaur, like I was saying. And then you've got the famous avatar pieces like this. And then on the figure, you've got that eye right there. Very cool. I love this, I love this, I love this. Very, very well, very great job they have done creating this perfect. Absolutely, with that patterning of the blue, the black, and the yellow. Just amazing, beautiful figure. And I just love it, completely love it. So of course, here is that stand. And this is the first figure I've been able to properly fit on the stand, which is very nice. Look at that. So beautiful. I'll show you the little black light in a moment, but first let's put the, uh, the rider on there, shall we? So I'm sure there's different ways to put the rider on there. You could have this this hand up in the air like that, you know? Or you could put it down here, bracing the side of the creature like that. But either way, this is very cool. So it can ride as they jump and splash through the waves. Let's attempt to do some of the black lighting, shall we? So first of all, you're gonna turn this over, turn it on, on. Now I'm gonna turn this other light off. And when I do, we look at some of the glowiness, glowiness. See, it lights up with the black light in the dark. Of course, if it was a lot darker, we'd get a better result. It's still daytime here. So first of all, we've got a lot of reviews coming up. So this is Stormy Cloud 21. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. See more cool stuff coming up soon. Thanks for watching this review on Netiam and Alu from the Way of Water Avatar. Until next time, until we meet again, thanks for watching and talk soon.